this muscle forming can you, can you contract this muscle if they can't do that at all there's no flexion on that muscle then we would say we would turn that as zero out of five a one out of five would be they can contract the muscle but there's no movement at the foot right so you can contract this muscle which is quite hard to do at the car but you can contract this muscle but there's no movement at the foot that would indicate that there's a very least probably some sort of attachment to the muscle and you're probably starting to rule out very right because if, if the muscle's detached if it's completely detached from the Achilles tendon, then how are you, you know, you, you, then you're worried about grade three, right? Grade two, they have um, full range of motion without gravity. Now, most of the time in testing, you skip grade two because to go without gravity is quite um, challenging. Like, for example, most things you lift are against gravity. If I do a bicep curl, I'm going against gravity, right? If I do a shoulder raise, I'm going against gravity. Um, so we usually skip grade two. Um, and we go to full range of motion um, with gravity, which would be grade three. So at this point, even though we're kind of working horizontal, I would ask you to go ahead and point your toe down uh, this way and do basically active range of motion, right? Grade three is active range of motion, no resistance. So what you're, when you tested a few weeks ago, you were basically doing grade three. You just didn't know it. You were doing three out of five. If they got three out of five, that indicates the muscle's definitely attached and you can rule out grade three. So they wouldn't be able to move it otherwise. Grade four would be um, a resistance, so it would be R-R-O-M, resistive range of motion. So go ahead and point your toe again, go point, 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 point. And you resist going through it, which means you're testing the integrity of the muscle a little bit more. If they're able to do that without pain, or even with pain, you're starting to maybe even rule out, rule, rule to the point that you're, you're at a grade one or grade two level. Now, the last one is where we test it isometrically. So grade five is point your toe down again, Hold it there, don't let me push you back. Hold it, hold it. And we call that isometric brake testing. So number five is basically called isometric brake testing. So if I did biceps, I'd say curl up, don't let me push you down, hold it. And that's the testing the full strength of the muscle. So grade five is like our max check. If they can hold a grade five and not release back down with their foot, that's a sign that you're probably dealing with a mild strain grade one. Because if, if there's anything more than that, they probably wouldn't be able to hold you at that max resistance point and not move. So that's basically where we're at. If you're grade zero or grade one, you're concerned about possible grade three. So one would probably indicate grade two. With grade two strain, they usually have this like bruising and ecchymosis that comes in a little bit later. And grade two, to be honest, could be anything from that sort of one to three range. Once you're getting into resistive range, if they're actually able to resist it, you're probably dealing with, with a grade one. And at that point, can they do it? Can they do it without pain? Is it got, do they have pain with it, etc., etc.? So you need to know the definitions of grade zero to five. That's it.